Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So starting off with the eight hour, I actually want to just get to the weekly first. You can see now this weekly bar that we had yesterday, oh, sorry, last week, is chaotic. So um, there's a couple of ways that we need to pay attention to this right now. So the first one is that is the trend line and that is the rejection of that trend line. That's a proper pin bar rejection of that trend line. So that's the first thing we need to pay attention to. Second thing we need to pay attention to is this area here. And you can see there's been support on that in the past. And you can see there quite a bit there. And then one week there where we tried to do a rejection of it. And the other thing that's in there is the 155. Next thing is this potential crossover of the oscillators pointing down. So basically, the setup that we have here on the weekly is potentially a continuation lower. The only thing that is going to change this view is if we can find support here and start moving up on the weekly, because then we've got a low, lower low. And now what we'll have is high, higher low. Then the next thing I'd be paying attention to is a weekly move above the swing high, which would then set the tone for a bullish structure on the weekly. But that is far away from us. So with those levels in mind, let's just start looking at what we have on the chart. So firstly, on the eight hour, we've been in this range. It was looking like a big head and shoulders. And then last week we had this massive move up, which destroyed that um, head and shoulders structure. And then we broke below the neckline as well. So complete confusion. So for me, that is a fairly important level, 39.16. 39.16 is an area that I'm paying attention to for potential shorts. That is a crossover that starts forming. We will be testing the 155 EMA. Uh, don't want to be jumping in short with oscillators like this at the moment. So that is the area that I'd be paying attention to right now. We start drilling down through the time frames. You see we have a crossover on the three hour, but last week was above and below the moving averages. Complete confusion as the last previous two weeks have been. So in moving averages above, below, below, above, below. So this is just confusion, complete confusion. Look at this little structure that's forming here. It looks like a bit of a flag. That flag would be targeting this area here at 39. 16 if it does break so we've got a bearish setup here on the three hour as well don't want to be jumping in short with oscillators like that i want to be short off structure and that is my closest bit of structure but now when we start dropping down through the lower time frames we get a different picture so from the hour perspective that is the closest structure but it has been tested already on friday with this these two bars here. So that has definitely been tested. That's at 38.80. So I wouldn't be too interested in getting short off there. I'd much rather be looking for shorts up here. And you can see that breakthrough here on Thursday, we never really tested it. So that is the area I'd be paying attention to, 39.16 for a short. We do have a bit of a trend line here as well, which has not been respected at the moment, which is always a concern. But now if we start dropping down to 15 minutes, we start getting a little bit of a different picture. So you can see we've had a fairly solid downtrend for two days. We've been below the moving averages. We should be, we've been looking for shorts. Now we are just above the moving averages. We've got the 155 EMA just above us, oscillators all over the place, and we've got a gap here. So now, it starts becoming this kind of scenario. We find support on the gap. You probably find these moving averages get closer and closer and closer. And then you'd be looking for a crossover, a break of structure to the left, and then build a base for a move to the upside. So that to me makes the most sense today is a drift higher. It could be stopped at 38.80, but I strongly suspect 39. 16, 3900 is the rejection area for a move to the downside. 
on the 50 minute that basically sets up a sort of potential for a long setup because if it rejects here comes back finds support above the moving averages on structure then it's going to be set up for a long so this morning's view is really if we do start breaking and and there is another macro level here so we start getting above this zone we get a crossover the moving averages then you're targeting this area up here from an hour perspective this 3916 is your shorting opportunity here's your structure if we get above this and build a base up here then i would suspect we're starting to move higher but for me this morning i think 15 minute chart is the way to go uh, you probably find the five minute would give you a little bit more structure you can see here on the five minute we're already above all the moving averages so uh, you know a break of this range to the upside you start targeting uh, each of these levels and there's a five minute gap up here as well so a 50 50 there's uh, there's a lot going on at the moment there is some bullish structure there's some bearish structure options expiry is over for the month um, most of the big bits of data are out and from from a traditional perspective uh, from sort of this last two weeks of december is normally a very strong month you just got to pay attention to that as well um, for me i think today is on this chart specifically i think i'd rather sit back and wait the dax has got some options on it and then euro usd has got some decent uh, setups on it but um, the s p and the dow jones doesn't really have anything that's exciting me at the moment i'm not convinced the trend's going to continue to the downside and i'm not convinced that it's going to go turn around to the upside so um, i'm completely neutral so i will sit on my hands hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now